Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And just days after the shooting of former President Donald Trump, the White House and President Joe Biden, they're on red alert. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Why are they on red alert? Well, first of all, I'm sure they're on red alert for safety reasons. I don't know what's going on there. This video is not about that. But they should be if they're not. Obviously, when something happens to one presidential candidate and you don't know the motivation for that, you should be on red alert. But I digress. The real reason they're on red alert right now is they just got the new numbers. And what happened after the Trump shooting is his popularity went even higher. Because you can juxtapose the two photos. Trump, his hand raised triumphantly saying, fight, fight, fight. And Biden unable to form a coherent English sentence and being foiled by a flight of stairs when he walks up them on Air Force One. Those two pictures tell America everything about the two men they're supposed to be voting for in November. Well, now a new poll came out and it shows, well, new data came out from the polls and CNN shows that not only could Trump is, is, is Trump likely to win, but it would be a monumental landslide of Reagan proportions almost. I want you to see what they say and how big this could actually be. And then let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you right now. And John King, fortunately, is with us, as he always is at the Magic Wall. Uh, the latest polls show Trump is slightly ahead of Biden in all these key battleground states. Uh, the state of the race is on night two of the Republican convention. Donald Trump is leading in this race significantly if you look deep into the polling. He has a chance to build on it. New numbers out today. More bad news for the president. Well, let's look through it. But let's start with the then. This is back in 2020 when Joe Biden won a pretty convincing win, 306 to 232. This is the map as it fills in. Remember the then when you look at the now, because the striking, co the difference is striking. This is how our CNN political unit, led by David Chalian, projects the race right now. And right now, deep red, solid Republican. Light red, lean Republican. If this map played out, the election were today and the map played out like this, even if the toss-ups went blue, Donald Trump would win the election. Donald Trump would win the election. But the map is even more favorable to Donald Trump if you look through this. New polling today, it's a small lead, but, it, but Donald Trump is leading in Pennsylvania right now. Uh, Donald Trump is leading in Wisconsin right now. Uh, Donald Trump is leading in Arizona right now. And Donald Trump, most believe, is right now has the lead in Nebraska, too. Nebraska, like Maine, rewards electoral votes by congressional district. So look at the map right now. That gets Donald Trump to 303. And there's new polling today that shows the president's approval rating in these battleground states is below 40. The president's ballot number right now is below 40 in most of those states, and it's at 42 in Nevada. It's very hard in 16 weeks. We count the vote 16 weeks from tonight to turn that around. Plus, Democrats are now worried. They think, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but what they're saying is the president's going to have to spend more time and more resources on places like Virginia because it's competitive, on places like New Hampshire because it's competitive. You look at this map as it plays out, and there are Democrats making the case, and we have Wisconsin blue here. Let's move Wisconsin over here. There are Democrats making the case that Donald Trump is on a viable path as of today to get to 330 electoral votes, Wolf, or even higher, or even higher, because they see other states in here. The Trump campaign says Minnesota. The Trump campaign says maybe New Mexico. Let's be cautious. Those are blue states traditionally, but the president's standing, his approval rating, his ballot number, people's views about how old he is, and people who view, people who view the state of the economy are very bad for the president right now. And so even if you just go back to where we start, Donald Trump is in command. The numbers are getting worse for the president, Wolf, and Donald Trump has an opportunity with this convention to build it even more. And let's not forget the key magic number is 270. I need 270 electoral votes to be elected president of the United States. And speaking of